There are 13 million community college students in the United States. Of those who go on, only about 16% get the degree. So there's a fundamental disconnect that we have to try to address. Education is a national imperative. Providing access is the key to making education a national imperative, which makes access a national imperative. Students aren't learning the same way that I learned uh, 35 years ago. And what that means, therefore, is that there's going to be an intersection between value and price and technology uh, and traditional forms of education. And we have to find a way to be begin to bring these sort of disparate tendencies, if you will, together uh, in such a way that it makes some sense. In a world in which Community colleges are very confusing and decentralized places with great counselors who are overwhelmed sometimes with as many as a thousand students per counselor. A program that provides early identification, careful mentoring from cradle through career. We begin to find a system in a way that makes sense individually for the student. And that's the genius of the program. It gives the student the independence that's necessary and it works through the four-year networks to provide the student with uh, employment at the, at the end. For a kid from 3,000 feet up in the Appalachian Mountains uh, in West Virginia to be told that he could get to a place like Bucknell, survive in its most rigorous program, go back and demonstrate to his kids that there was value was unthinkable because nobody ever backed him, nobody ever bet on him. And he has since gone back to be the engineer for Garrett College in Maryland. And that he understood now that the value of the education meant a kind of empowerment for his family and his children if you argue that America is shifting over to a knowledge-based economy, there are only so many times you can attack the same zip codes when you're trying to find uh, and build an admissions class. You're going to have to look at new demographic populations that exist, and it's my personal belief that within that demographic population, in the two-year sector likely is the next series of Bill Gates. So you're beginning not only to expand the pool, but you're beginning to find folks who are just as bright and just as smart as anyone down the road here at MIT or Princeton or any of the other uh, uh, most elite schools in the country. They just simply didn't have for a variety of reasons the opportunity to get there. And this program will get them there. Mm -hmm.